Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Before we start, I'd like to ask you to like, subscribe, dislike, and leave a comment down below. Like, dislike, and subscribe to channel. Much appreciated. Don't share this channel. Alright, so. This game is gonna be, is a. Uh, what was it a, uh, I think a mystery horror kind of deal. So with this is, I'm gonna be playing this every now and then, putting it on the channel. Um, I'm gonna try to put as much as I can, <clears throat> but if I can't get to it, then maybe yet. Mm, I'll say let's go easy so quickly. What's this? Extra help provided. Uh, highlighted. Let's just do this. So we can get done with this. I kind of need to rush through these games. Uh, there's another one I'm going to do too. But I haven't got to it. Apparently this is like an older game, remade, or so. Like that. Your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil. Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at their setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Shoes? Characters? Um... Huh.
go. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Hmm. I wonder if we get to pay multiple people with different stories. Got six bullets. Hmm. Place pretty decent. Okay. Aim. Alright. Pretty simple. I'm guessing that's health. Take a swig. I don't know what is it. Now what do we got here? Okay, cool. Open. Stuff. All right. Cool. Kitchen key. So flashlight. Oh, so they got a battery. No battery. Awesome. All right. Got the kitchen key. Is this where we came from? Oh, oh, this. oh, we came from the other. Wait. Something shiny. Right. What the fuck? It looks like the void. The hell was that? Huh. <coughs> Already. Weird ass things happening. Look at this lady. Getting in there. Okay, we're looking for the. Oh, that's not. Okay, I thought it was a person. It's a statue. Am I looking for a key? Watch you, you hold the key. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh huh. So basically, I need to get a tool, something to open that, and then the tool is probably in there to grab that. So let's head in. That was supposed to be scary. Uh huh. Looking pretty That's good. They treat if it inside a conservatory. Huh? What? 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 What did you see that I didn't see? Oh, I hear something. There you go. Oh, 
housekeeper's key. Is that you know what I need, right? I, that's the housekeeper's key is over here. Most likely, right? Yeah. Can I run? I can. Alright. Some box. Bullets. Awesome. Always good. This locked. I can't even I can't even interact with that. Okay, right over here. Can I interact with this? No. There's an upstairs. Can I go up? It won't let me go up there. It's blocked off. Okay. Just, just to see. Just to see. Pretty sure it's not the right key for this shack. It's probably gonna be a shack key. Nah, I'm not getting in there. No, it's gonna be okay. So I have to find that key to get that pottery, whatever that shit was. Alright, so far I like it, I'm liking it. Just got that five I'm looking for. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Cool. Aid. Okay. Not like we. Of course, he's got health. He's got a gun. Oh, well, most cases. Can I open drawers? No. Um, of course, you know we gotta search. Every day, your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures oh. of dust-covered landscapes Look without a drop of water. It's like a Molotov? I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Mm. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now, please. Leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay. Go oh, back door. Mm. They hooked me up with bullets. 
that so I got to switch over how do you Tell me hi. Desero. door this is what this okay so we have to go over here the door open that's that what okay is the chest open no no we gotta go that way Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. But... That doesn't look safe. Apparently. Hmm. Okay, I'm missing... One of those. Okay, I like it, I like it. I'm digging this game. So I had to come back to certain things to come back.
key. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that there's he would do something irreversible. I didn't know that there's Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had... Okay, so we got the clues just to where... Whatever, I didn't get to read it all, but... There's clues to where we can find certain things. And everything needs a key, so... Oh, 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 slow down. Alright, we got a map. Ooh, and a key. I need the key. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. I'm Just not let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. Can, can I go back down? I should have freaking checked that room before I left. <clears throat> All 
right. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can pick up any clues. Who am I now? I'm not done here yet. Oh, fuck. of a puzzle. Great. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Dark Counting man. the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Okay, pause and read that. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Pause and read that. Staring directly into the face of that demonic... Turn the page. Pause and read that. It's gonna take a long time for me to hear all that. A lot of highlighted words here. Damn. Just reading the highlighted words, that's all I'm doing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we got the piece. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Emily? going on? Where am I? Okay. Still need a key for that. This turned into a whole different...
Christ, what the hell was that? Oh, you mother flipper. Swamp thing. Fuck are y'all? Actually, Swamp thing was a good guy. Probably go back up and you skip that. Can't go that way. What the hell is going on? What the? What the hell just happened? You glitched? Aw, oh, come on, are you kidding me? Yo, look at this shit. Aw, oh, boy. Yo, you seen this? Glitched in this little area right here. Aw, oh, boy. Alright, great time to end it. Um, I'm guessing we'll start back in this, uh, chapter right here with the city, but till then, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Once again, stay safe.